Hi, this is Arun here with LifeRay development tutorials. I am using LifeRay 6.1. In this session, I am going to explain you what is a web portal, what is a LifeRay portal and portal platforms and benefits of using LifeRay platform and uh, LifeRay plugin development. So, before starting, I wanted to say one particular thing. I'm using LifeRay the 6.1 version, which is the latest one. If you want to have a LifeRay environment with you, then you need to go to LifeRay.com and click on Downloads. Here you have some versions like LifeRay 6.1 Community Edition bundled with Tomcat, JBoss, Jetty and some other servers also available. So you can download bundled with uh, Tomcat and click on download and you will be able to download. I already have the downloaded uh, stuff with me. I just wanted to extract this in this uh, folder. I am just extracting it here. So I will be getting a LifeRay portal here so it's uh, j uh, it's quite simple to uh, install a life portal just download it and extract it into a particular directory you will be able to run a life ray life ray portal so the next uh, thing is i wanted to tell you what is a web portal and uh, when need to go for a web portal. I am not going to go through all these uh, um, slides because it will be quite more boring so that uh, I am just completing it in a few words. A web portal uh, is a simple web platform and it contains a WCM system. WCM system is nothing but a web content management system. It is like a Drupal or WordPress or something like a kind of alfresco. So these are the well known WCM systems in our real time world. Now it is an integration platform. Integration platform is more than one websites can be integrated into a single platform. So that is also possible using LifeRay portal and it is a collab platform. So collab platform means collaborating between uh, some teams or some organization and some communities like um, when we are going for a forum or blogs so the, the, those uh, areas will be collaborating more. So the, that that platform is available with LifeRay and uh, any kind of a uh, portal, web portal will be getting all these things. Now and a social platform, a kind of a social platform is a kind of a Facebook or Google Plus or those kind of social platform also available with a LifeRay. And when we need to go for a web portal, a web portal um, is something like when you when, uh, when you require a web portal, uh, you can just go for a web application. So, but the re the re the really really when you need to uh, run a web portal from your side, if you are running more than one websites, which is con which is uh, related to a organization, or it is permitting some user roles, and uh, those kind of activities can be done and um, some workflow, some uh, individual group collaborations and uh, integrating multiple websites, multiple enterprise platforms, applications in those in those kind of areas uh, that time you can uh, you can go for a web portal. So let me show you an example for a web portal. Here I have opened my iGoogle. So iGoogle is a um, very very best example for a web portal display so here you can see a fat fish game is running over here and a hangman game and a weather report and a google calendar and a bsc sensex and a pacman game and some inspirational cards and some cricket news and cricket schedules cricket scores and um and um the time date time and another hangman game and a joke a day so those kind of things are different different applications the fat fish is a different application 
and weather is one different application and hangman is different application and bs is and success application and all these are integrated into a particular portlet called i google and here also it is don't forget about this here in my portal my chat window also available here so all this helps all these things are uh, coming under a web portal so now you are aware about what is a web portal so now we will see how we can install and run a life report life ray portal so i already told you i have downloaded and uh, given for an extraction i already give the bundle with tomcat and uh, let us wait for um, finishing this particular one so it's 93 percentage okay once it is extracted here I'm just going to rename this life ray portal as life ray portal life ray portal tomcat okay oh there's some problems life ray portal tomcat and just opening this inside the life ray bundle you can see a tomcat 7.0.27 version and here you have the JRE and uh, the bin folder for starting up a life ray and uh, data which contains HSQL database scripts and uh, a license and now what we need to do is it's quite simple as how we are starting our Tomcat server just like that we can run this startup batch file or if we are using any unix machine we can run this startup shell script i'm just running this startup bat so it will be going uh, for a um, for um, running and installing the life ray uh, portal in your machine so we'll wait till uh, the tomcat starts once the tomcat starts we'll continue with the session The initial startup of uh, life ray will be taking some time so I'm pausing the video and uh, just uh, making it uh, I'll be starting after the life ray tomcat starts okay now uh, the life ray tomcat server started up open up a browser and type localhost 8080 localhost 8080 and you will be able to you will be able to connect with the life ray server so now you are seeing the life ray basic configuration page and you need to uh, if you want to change the database configuration you can change here outside right now it is the hsql db associated with life ray itself you are viewing here and use the default database and just finish the configuration i am giving the first name as test and last name as test and my email id as test at liferay.com this is commonly people at first time when we start people commonly give as test and i am finishing the configuration now i'll be getting a message stating that uh, this uh, liferay installation is successfully done one moment it's loading now you can see the message your configuration was saved successfully and this is the properties file it is saved over here portal setup wizard dot properties and um, I'm not going to that property file. I'm just going to click on go to my portal. So it will redirect me to my portal. And there I need to agree with some terms of use of uh, life ray. Here I have a terms of use with life ray. I'm just agreeing that 
I agree click on I agree and now it will be asking you the password because I already gave my username as test test at liferay.com as my email ID and my display name as test and la first name last name both as test so here I'm just giving test as my password and uh, giving a password you can give any password whatever you want and clicking on save here and it will be asking you your father's middle name I'm just uh, giving as XYZ and saving this it's a security question you wanted whatever you you can write your own question as well here but I'm giving as XYZ here an answer okay now this is my portal home page so this is uh, from uh, 6.1 version of Liferay onwards you can see this as your portal home page and here you have add page options and click on more you can see some one second you can see some uh, other portlets like wiki tools or shell sample news those kind of activities you have and uh, you see managing your page your page layout and site settings site pages those items will be here and editing the controls so edit controls means uh, if you see here you have some controls over here the moving and closing settings Th those controls you can enable using edit controls if you disable this you will be uh, you cannot edit this okay so a particular user who is logging into life ray he'll be having two pages so it is not necessary he must have two pages but he'll have a public page and it's a private page so here I have my public pages so I'll be going to my public page So this is my public page that is a welcome page here I have this public page and private page means my public pages whichever I am adding to this particular page is viewable to any people who are outside of this life right with this domain itself so if I am uh, if he is not logging in as uh, also he can see my particular uh, page so uh, here in another browser this browser I didn't logged in as anyone I just uh, giving as his URL his tests home page so this is his public page so here I didn't sign signed in but I can see his public data whatever he is shared with me also he is having a private page uh, test is having a private page my private page so if I am clicking on my private page this private page cannot be visible by other people because it's only up to me and whomever I'm sharing this page those people only will be able to view this particular page uh, the page is loading and uh, once it is loaded I'll uh, show you no one else can see this page so see this is what the test user home page so he's uh, added uh, a calendar a dictionary and a language and a navigation bar and those details is added I'm just uh, copying the URL of his one and here I'm typing the same URL but it will redirect me to the public page only it will not give me the private page of test test user so it is asking me to log in to see the page but if I am giving the public URL I'll be able to see the public page so that is the old one so this is uh, the test users public page but the test user cannot um, uh, a, a test users private page cannot be seen by other people because it is a private and it requires a login okay so this is what about the life ray installation I'll show you one one more thing once the life ray installation is complete you will be able to see this folder data inside this you can see the document library and you can see uh, HQL database and a jackrabbit repository and a Lucent search engine 
so it is indexing here lives and and the deploy folder so the deploy folder is nothing but where we uh, our um, portlets or themes those kind of items are deploying in this deploy folder and this is the tomcat uh, 7 folder in this tomcat 7 folder you already seen some portlets are uh, installed marketplace portlet and resources important web and root and a welcome theme so these things are already deployed in our tomcat and liferay tomcat so mm, that's all about uh, the liferay introduction section in the next section i'll be showing you how we will use the control panel to create users and creating a site and creating user groups and controlling a website so those kind of items we will be um, seeing in the session 2 thank you for watching life ray tutorial thank you this is arun signing off